What's going on, YouTube? Um, ask and you shall receive. Uh, everyone that uh, posted here, except for Crystal, um, I'm not sure. Uh, Guy and C, I, I think C is. I can't find. Um, other than the fact it's a Turkey Russia fund, um, Central Europe Russia and Turkey fund. Um, and they found I found guy I guess if that's right so we'll go through these um, AG a lot of requests for AG I'll go over that uh, EXK looks awesome uh, watch watch for um, previous lows as uh, price is approaching very rapidly uh, previous lows as in uh, resistance as in uh, sell for profit um, Bear Creek Mines uh, that's Toronto exchange I got uh, Fortuna First Majestic and Silvercrest I think SVLC just let me know if these are not right especially this one I'm not sure if this is the one you're requesting or not um, but um, it's the best I can do. So here we go. So here's uh, GUI, Toronto Exchange. I hope this is right. Uh, it's at uh, just under 470. Looks bullish as it just popped a uh, previous high. Uh, previous lows are up in the 7 and 6 range. I would look uh these previous lows here. This is a... Um, a huge consolidation in the past so look for about six to six and a half uh, here's a meeting line on the long just below six and this is a monthly chart so I'm looking long uh, long resistance points um, as you can see on a weekly it broke previous high and it busted out um, Nice consolidation over the 34, as it should happen. Uh, nice bearish, or excuse me, uh, bullish retracement back to the 8. Follow that 8 all the way up. Um, let's see. So it broke this previous high as well. Right? So previous lows, right around 6, I would look. Uh, so some profits. It's got a good, uh, good bust out here. So it looks nice. Um, let me know if this is not right. Uh, CEE -E is the closest thing I can find. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, this is on the NYCE exchange. There we got a bust out. We got a hammer. Uh, here's previous lows here at um, starting at 19 um, possibly going to 50% of this candle and uh, watch out for previous highs up in this area if it gets that high um, we got to right around 20 is a good spot to take some profits as you can see previous lows and 20 is a, an emotional spot on the chart for traders. Um, these um, these big spots like five is a three is a, a emotional spot. Five is an emotional spot. Ten and um, of course 20. Huge emotional spot, and you can see right around 20 is where these spots were rejected. And these found support. So, right around 20, look for um, taking some profit. Um, hope I answered your question on that one. Here's uh, on a weekly. So, right around 20. Um, Fortuna Silver Mines. Oh, hang on. Alright, so Fortuna Silver. FSM. 
there's a weekly chart you can see how it has a double bottom and that nice hammer right there and just took off never looked behind it's following the 8 and the 13 across the 34 we got um, resistance here that it just blew through at this uh, nice consolidation here um, so where do we got we got resistance here um, we got uh, previous lows here at around 450 on a weekly let's look uh, further back um, yeah I don't know if this has much more to go um, definitely needs to rest a little bit here's a um, here's a previous low here here's a previous high over here it looks like it's at its point of um, resistance it needs to consolidate if it wants to go higher. I'm not saying it can't. That's not uh, what I'm saying. Uh, we got some consolidation here and resistance coming into a pile of consolidation, consolidation. Um, it's really hard to tell where these things go when they go blasting off like that. Uh, let's look at a long term. That's my only uh, remedy. We've got previous highs over here, 450 again. Previous low, previous this this um, previous high and just previous low. It's right there. Um, look for some kind of retracement on the monthly to come back to the 34 for a nice bullish retracement but if that doesn't happen um, it looks like five is a good bet it's got it it's coming off that double bottom you can see the double bottom boom boom it's really hard to tell I would look on the shorter term and look for uh, tweezer tops. There's a top. There's an extension bar. Look for extension bars on the shorter terms. That way you're protecting yourself. Um, it's still above the eight on the 60, but you got a, a double top here. Um, the extension bars pointing up is a, a down signal, as it shows it rolling over. Wow, that's a nice U pattern. Where's that coming from? Hmm. I was thinking maybe a cup and handle, but that's way too far up there. I mean, it's interesting. You got a double top here, plus intermediate time frame on a um, 60 minute. Let's look at a five hour and see what's going on here. Looks like 420. Is a is a breakout if it can get up that high. So there you go. I hope I answer your question. If it gets above 420, well, no telling what this thing's gonna do. It's been high rising. Uh, let's look at um, Endeavor Silver, uh, EXK another high riser it's coming in resistance here you can see the previous we got three o'clock high right there um let's see here that's a weekly let's go to a monthly uh let's put some um yeah, it's coming up in the previous lows here, so make sure you sell profits. Maybe 50% of this candle. Around 350 on that. Start considering right around 3 as it moves up. we got a huge consolidation period in here. we got previous lows in here. Looks like it needs to do some uh, consolidation at 3. Let's see what we got here.
Yeah. It's going to go to three. Whether it breaks three or not, I don't know. But um, it looks like three is where um, our monthly trend is. Look for a consolidation at three and then a breakout. Um, usually the first time it reaches on a monthly, it'll come back down. Try it again and maybe even try it again as it, on a monthly. Trying to break trend. So... Look for that. It's already reached it once. So here's twice. Uh, maybe look for uh, selling profits, consolidation, and then a move higher. But um, certainly this thing is a high riser. I mean, these things got to, it's healthy for these things to rest. If they don't rest, it takes forever for, for them to recover. So pray for a. Uh, some kind of a consolidation at three. Uh, could be a quick consolidation, but something, something that let it rest. I mean, look at it just at a, can't even, there's no monthly reason why it did that other than the fact it's breaking previous lows, breaking into previous lows. Yeah, three o'clock high. Look for uh, selling for profits. Uh, here's silver. We are moving up a little bit this morning. Uh, silver Crest Mines SVLC. Um, trying to figure out if this thing's going to move yet. I don't think it's ready. I don't think it's ready yet. There's no indication that it's got. Um, it's got to break one into previous lows. And then it's probably going to stop it. Oh, that's pretty tight. Um, let's see, here on a weekly, you got a, um, a higher low. You got the eight crossing the thirteen. We need to close on a. We need to close above one. Um, it's trying. But you need uh, this EMA 8, you need to close above that on a weekly. If it does that, you'll likely see 1. Um, and 1 is the weekly. Yeah, it looks like it could reach 1. It's been hitting the trend, hitting the trend, hitting the trend. Just like uh, long-term silver has. And it had this huge pull down and whipped all the way back up, hit the trend, made a, a higher low, and now it's trying. I think it's good for, but it, it, it's got to get above your eight previous lows. Um, but it looks good. It's a, there's a good chance it'll hit one, and it has to move over one sometime. Because it's certainly trying to break trend. How many times is it? One, two, three. Um, looks good. We got a higher low. Keep above that trend, and you'll stay in the trade. Here's your trend on a weekly. There you go. Stay above that. Um, it's in a pattern. Here's the other line coming down. It's going to corkscrew into here, get tighter, 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 and pop. If it pops up, um, or it pops down, I don't know, but it's in that pattern. Boom, boom, and now you got to you got to break this 93. You got three top here. So there you go, 94. 94 is the break. 94, I hit one. See, see if we can. Um, it's a good one to watch. That's for sure. Good choice. Good choice. And one more. If I'm missing anything, let me know. Uh, 
market's going to open here very soon. BCM, another Toronto, Bear Creek Mining. Um, it's it's hitting previous lows right now. So, man, this thing got wild after 2004. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Damn. <laughs> That's some wild ride right there. Um, let's go to a longer term. See where we're at. This is a monthly. You need to break into previous lows above 70 and then above 95. You'll hit previous lows at 1, 1 and above. We've got the monthly trend at 150 or so. Um, let's go narrow down. So on a weekly, you're 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 hitting previous lows. And how we close today, it looks like it's got one of these falling star patterns. Um, as it tried, and then now we'll see how today is. How, how this closes, does this close on a weekly tighter and making a falling star? Or does it move up and break previous high? Am I even looking at this one? Yeah. So there you go. See how we close today. Do we close above the the previous high? Um, and getting this candle a little less wicky, or are we going to close tighter down here as a uh, falling star? Um, not sure what to think unless because we we are breaking into previous lows, starting at. At one, it may need some consolidation right in and around one. Um, maybe even come back and meet that eight. Uh, certainly, staying above one is important on this one. Um, that's about it, guys. I think the market is gonna open in 10 minutes. So, I'll get this uploaded, keep you guys informed. Thank you for. Um, your responses. I also want to thank William to uh, the uh, coffee. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, if all, if everyone, if I had a thousand subscribers and everyone sent me one cup of coffee a month, I mean, certainly I can make a living <laughs> off of coffee. <laughs> so thank you. I mean, uh, it's uh, awesome, and I appreciate it, everyone. It, let me know if I can do anything. I'm trying to get my account uh, higher up so I can get a, a streaming feed to a better source. Um, it's going to happen. Uh, these weekly charts, these weekly trends take forever, um, so you can't rush them. They're swing trades. I'm in a trade for, what, four days now. I'm definitely up, um, but I... Um, what I'm saying is uh, weekly charts are just that. It, it can take weeks before I can see a return or um, breaking into previous lows as I, as I will sell my profits and let the rest of it ride and then turn around and find another one. Um, so thank you guys. Uh, appreciate it. Thanks.